Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a Brinks Pro Max padlock, five pins, spool pins within it. We are at Akaka Falls in Hawaii. Let's even get this open real quick. It's a huge falls, gorgeous. I click on two. There we go, click on three. Click on one. I think we overset it. Oh no, it's dropping down, so maybe not. Let's continue. There's our false set in the back. Let's get that spool. Right there. Maybe it's not right there. Nope, that feels like it. Oh, we lost it. Oh. So let's see if we can let one down, find it again. I feel like we're still in that false set. Nope, it's not it. Check one again. There we go. We got to click out of one. Four in the back again. There we go. Yep. There's our false set again. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Got that. Now it feels like pin two is our next one. Oh, no, pin one. There we go. There's our open. So there we are. That's a Brinks Pro Max padlock. And in the back here, we are at Akaka Falls. Let me get you off of the fence here so I can show you around. See, it goes pretty down far. Nice little valley in there. All right, I'm back home, and I did go ahead and decide to gut this. I took the lock completely apart. This is my first time gutting an, a laminated block. And it was quite interesting. It's a pain in the ass at first, but got to figure it out. Anyways, here are our pins in here. You can see at the top we have a spool, standard, spool, and spool. All standard along the bottom there. So nothing too special, just spools. And let me show you how the lock is uh, put together here. I got some bolts in it right now. Each piece is formed. Each one of those plates on the side here comes off and is formed with a certain shape of holes in it to hold each individual part in. So you can see our, in the very back here, the very back you can see the cam that our tailpiece locks into. You can see these parts right here and that, uh, that piece of the frame there that blocks our tailpiece from turning too far too so it kind of controls it as well and that also holds our ball bearings in at the top and the bottom here for our shackle it's all the frame of the lock so when we put this in that fits right there perfectly the last piece that holds it in is this right here but we can feel it there engaging with the back end of the lock and so it is locked right now and so if we go ahead and oh there we go now it's all the way back turn it and that releases our ball bearings. We shut it and it goes back. So there we go. Really cool. Really interesting to play with. I have not taken apart a laminate lock before. Um, I think I might do it, be doing this a little bit more often because uh, it's. I find it really helpful to see what's inside these uh, easier lower belt locks because it, it helps you visualize what you're going at when you're going into it and Oftentimes when you're trying to progress and uh, move up in uh, different locks, that's all it is. It's just having an idea of what's inside the lock. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.